Hey everyone, my name is Cassidy Nugent. I do want to take the time to thank you for coming and listening to my speech today. To begin with, I want to start with a scenario, that way we can all really understand how this organization began in the first place. I want you guys to imagine that it is the year 1900, that you are a well-respected member of society, you just graduated from Yale, and you are beginning to work at your first job. You are feeling very anxious and distressed, but you push that aside so you can continue your normal day life. One day, though, it gets really, really bad, and you don't know how to handle yourself and how you get to handle your feelings. So what you do is that you go home and you throw yourself out of your bedroom window. The good news with this is that you do survive. You start to recover in the hospital from your injuries. You, you know, you start to feel better physically. The bad news is that you still suffer from hallucinations and paranoia, and it's driving you insane. Your family believes it is time for you to be hospitalized because your two siblings before you were also suffering with mental illness that caused them to even commit suicide. So you do, you get hospitalized at a mental institution. When you're there, you have expectations of feeling better and, you know, receiving the treatment that you deserve but you are presented with physical abuse, verbal degrading, staff members um, who are mistreating you and just causing your mental illness to be so much worse. Three years later, when you're released, you do decide that you need to tell the world how that your experience went in the mental institution. So this scenario is actually someone's life. This was the life of Clifford W. Beers. His story and experience sparked a mental health reformation in the 1900s. People began to realize that people with mental illness and mental disorders needed to be treated, you know, fairly, and that what was going on needed to be treated with care. He established many clients' rights in the standard of mental health treatment and what it should look like in every single place in the world. In result of this mental health reformation, he creates the most influential nonprofit organization in American history. In 1909, Clifford W. Beers founded the Mental Health America Association. It is the nation's leading community-based nonprofit organization. Their goal is to address those who are living with mental illness and then just really promote them that mental health is what their overall goal should be. They can do this as a you know, sign of showing people what overall, overall wellness should be. They, you know, have prevention programs for people who might be feeling suicidal, as Clifford did in the early 1900s. They have um, identification scenarios where that you can contact someone, tell them how you're feeling. That way they can identify what's going on. They can, you know, even intervene with people who are at risk for being you know, really mentally ill. They have care services, they have support groups, they have an overall goal of recovery for people with mental illness. The reason why this is so important is because mental illness has been on the rise for the past few decades. Currently with COVID-19, the entire world and the MHA organization is seeing that trend worsen. Many people are dealing with depression and anxiety during this time of uncertainty. With all this information of how the mental health awareness of America did begin in the 1900s, it's really applicable to how we are living today and how important it is that we take time to ask for help 